In this exercise, we are also required to calculate the value of the chosen stock. That's why we have a question mark there. Um, however, for us to calculate the value of the chosen stock, we needed to know what type of stock system are we using. Are we using first in, first out? Or are we using weighted average for now? Or are we simply using specific identification method? In this question, you were asked to use weighted average method. Now, for you to calculate the cost price of um, the value of stock that you haven't sold, which is 2700 you needed to take the opening value, which is 2880 You will add it with all your purchases and then you will minus the cost price of your returns. Similarly, in the denominator, you will have opening number of units, which is 320. Plus, um, a corresponding number of units for 58,560 will be 4,800. For your returns, the number of units will be 20. Now, in the numerator, you're going to have that. Minus that. In the denominator, you're going to have these. Add it, they will be added, and then you minus that. The value that you get there will simply be the cost price of your closing stock. We don't know how much that is. And that value will simply be 12 rand. You will simply take that 12 rand and multiply it by the number of units that are remaining at the end of the year. It will give you the cost price of those units, which is 28,800. To calculate the value of your closing, your cost of sales, you will take your opening value of stock, you will add your purchases, and then you will minus um, the value of your closing stock. Um, please remember from your purchases, in this case, they didn't do it. You need to subtract your returns, all right? So basically, this is what you will have. Cost of sales will simply be opening plus purchases minus returns, but you minus the value of your tools in stock. It will give you cost of units that you have sold. This is the same as manufacturing if you have you haven't noticed. Now to calculate your gross profit, you're going to take your sales figure, which is given in the table of 57,240, you minus 32,430, it will give you 24,810. To calculate your gross profit margin, you will simply take your gross profit and divide it by cost of sales, and that will give you 76,5, which is a very high gross profit pretty much um, close to um, 100%. So they're making quite a lot of money. Um, your average st stock turnover rate is simply 2 rand comma 0. I mean, it is 2 comma 0. So basically, they turn their stock uh, probably twice. Basically, it tells you how often do you turn your trading stock into cash. Please look at your um, average stock turnover rate ratio and please also note of what it actually means. Um, to calculate your average stock turnover rate, you will simply take um, your cost of sales and divide them by the average cost um, of your trading stock, which is stock at the beginning of the year plus stock at the end of the year, and you divide that by 2, it will give you 2,05. Okay, And that's it with respect to question 2.